Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today with a pre-recorded video of uh, Guido Extreme Volk um, that I did with Trash Alliance a couple days ago. I believe at Reset, which was Sunday. Behold. Uh, I still need to practice a whole bunch with Volk, so I'm not actually comfortable enough to do it live action. So I pre-recorded them to talk over them, because I also never did it for um, a video on it, ever. Um, so you'll see a lot of my mistakes early on as I try and... Oops. Come on. Come on. There is a sound. There it is. I swear to God, man. You'll see a lot of my mistakes, like going for green. I'm supposed to go for red. Green is bad for me. Red is okay for me, at least in the beginning. Um, uh, yeah, I play Zanya. There's a... 100% chance that Zanya won't be used for masters because that's just my luck, but on extreme she does perfectly fine in my uh, estimation um, She's definitely the safest role to play if you're looking if you're someone who's like, oh, I need someone to go into Volk if I Should also mention let me back up when we go here and I'll explain what I mean. Oh By the way, if you end up liking this video, please leave a like tell me how you your experiences in the Guido because I assume it's been kind of rough for some people um, Not as rough as high dragon trials, but you never know I did this with the um, the trash alliance uh, Let's start here. All right, so I'm playing Zanya uh, Mayo is playing uh, as Lowen, Halloween Lowen. Lerp is Nobu all the way at the bottom there is player three and player four I want to say is Sorin He's, um, playing as you, then. Uh, all right, let's get into it. But yeah, I don't have many experience for it. I only ever beat it, um, once before, uh, before trying it again, and that was weeks ago. Uh, so I make a lot of mistakes. I think the earliest mistake that I did, um, was one, forgetting that red was safe for me and green is not. But the other mistake I do, and I'll show it because I'm about to, I think, reset pretty easily here. I think it's right here. Everyone dies. No, pretty close though. I know we're actually doing pretty fine here. The thing I like about Zanya for this fight, and it sucks that I think that she probably won't be using masters, is that she's actually able to kind of stay far away from him and not have to worry about him. Uh, so here when he does Pestilent wins, the reason why I say it's kind of important to find a team is because you need to have someone that knows like, oh, we need to stay away at this point and not try and interfere with where everyone is at. Um, so I dodge him here, I think. No, I don't. I die right here. But this is something that's a mistake that I did in the beginning, and this is from not really fighting it very much, is that, um, I think it will be in the next fight, is that I hug the wall too close, and you shouldn't hug the wall all that close. Um, and this is all from, I'm speaking from experience as someone who kind of learned how to beat it on the fly with some help with Trash Alliance as we went through it. Uh... I ended up surviving perfectly good, but that's because Zanya is just like, she's never up close and personal, and a lot of his moves are kind of up close and personal. See, like for that one, it was Lowen that died. That was Mayo who screwed up. He asked for a reset, we do the reset. He was close to um, breaking into his next form. There's two forms in um, Extreme Aguidos, um, and we don't know how much there will be in Masters, but I assume three. But we'll see. So yeah, we'll start at the reset. So here's the important thing that I wasn't doing at the beginning, is that you should be running towards the middle. I don't remember when someone finally tells me this, but I think I start doing it maybe around here. No. See, I'm still holding back. You should be near the middle, because he'll spawn, and then everyone can just kind of get out of his way. Um, and the closer he is to the middle, I think the better. Any healing? Let's see if I remember which one is the right one. Nope. <laughs> Come on, Wookie, get your stuff together here, man. You got it, you got it, got it, you got it eventually. Um, so here comes the Eminent Illness. Low and thankfully heals him in time. Uh, yeah, but the thing I like about Zanya in this specific fight is the way that she's uh, very rarely having to go up close and personal to fight him. Uh, she gets her skills back fairly decently, decently, and her TT was actually super good for her because it gives her another fire skill. But here, see, I'm hugging the wall too much. I shouldn't be doing that. I should be a little bit further away so that when he gets summoned, see, look, now I'm screwed. I die. Um, because for some reason I thought I could skill out of it, which I could not at all. And here I am. I think I'm not sure if I should do the camera. No, here we are. That's the retry. I suppose every life must end somewhere. Oh, she says that a whole bunch. Trust me. 
I suppose in life, I, there's actually a video I haven't finished yet because I haven't gotten around to editing of me doing Master HMS where there's like a compilation of how many times she says that because of how often we died doing it. But yeah, here. See, you try and hit him a little. Yeah, see here, someone finally tells me you should try going for the middle. So I'm at the middle. I'm able to back up a little bit. See, as you go on, eventually people kind of tell you, especially if you're good. I think, let's see, does someone tell me go for red? Yeah, okay, so I hit red, I get the skill haste. That's perfectly fine. Um, you want to try and get rid of these because it kind of limits where you can go if they're still active, I believe, is the reason why you want to go after them. Um, come on, hit them. We're doing pretty good here at the beginning. See, the, that's the, it's moves like that. Like, I'm never confident enough in... Like, for example, a sword, you need to kind of do the combos in order to get your skills up and ready. And if you have your skills up and ready, then you're not going to have much trouble. Um, and here we are again at Underdog's Revenge. See, I'm looking, but I'm still too close to the wall. I need to be closer there. Yeah, see. Still too far. Still too far. I need to double roll back, and I still get hit by it. I end up being fine, but... Totally could have avoided that hit, and if I was a little bit more... If I wasn't so lucky, I would have been killed, basically, in that one hit. Alright, come on. We're doing pretty good here. I want to say, this is this one we actually beat them? For this part right here, I just... The main thing is getting your skills ready and avoiding the, the big hit of stuff. Uh, we also have... A lot of us have Mars, so once he goes big, we kind of just, like, switch to Mars and then immediately just, like, really waste the dude. Mars is such a good dragon. It's insane how good he is and how much, how better he makes every fire unit in general. Uh, I believe Lerp told me like um, the release of Mars made uh, Volk a little bit more consistent. So here's the thing I missed um, was the Gales and Ler uh, Mayo tried to warn me beforehand like, hey, watch out for the for the um, the Gales. Uh, but I'd never experienced the Gales because the last time we got a win in. Um, the last time I got a win in Volk, I never experienced the Gales. Like, um, there is a way for you to skip the Gales if you do enough damage, because all the Gito bosses are based off of, I believe, health and time remaining. Um, so if you beat them fast enough or you deal enough damage, you can skip entire parts of the fight, which is kind of why Cayenne ended up being so easy, for example. It's because a lot of people just skipped all his more deadly moves. Um, so for Volk, at this point, someone tells me, like, so for the Gales, what I was supposed to do is that, um, if there's two Gales, one person goes up, one person goes down, and you basically want to direct the Gales away from someone, um, uh, I think in a later, in a, the next fight you'll see it a little bit more clear, but that was my first experience with the Gale, and I immediately lose to it. Thankfully, I was Dragon, but the main point of doing what I was doing is trying to get the Gale away from the entire team, uh, so I wasn't really doing a very good job of that, for sure. We are Agito, the fangs of the fangs. The next track. Let me see how much. It's not much longer, I think. Man. But yeah, I, I, the re, again, the reason why I didn't want to record these live is that Mayo really wanted to use, and I was, I'm just not confident enough in my abilities to actually do it. So I tried to do a little bit of pre-recording stuff. I think it makes it a little bit easier for me, because I don't have to worry about so many things. Um, so I hope you end up liking it. It's very different from what I usually do, especially since now I get to look at how I'm playing and kind of like go like, this is where I screwed up. Um, one thing I'm definitely kind of anxious on is that I constantly save my skills. I think there's a way for you to constantly just be using them. If I was more confident in my abilities, I think I'd be using my skills way more because I would know exactly like how much time I have. See, here's the thing, I finally learned go a little bit away from it. Uh, he should spawn right below me, and then simple, easy, no hint of me ch potentially dying at all. Oh, I love Zanya so much for this fight. It's gonna bum me out when she's not used in Masters because she's such a good character for um, someone like me who's just not like not super good at the game um, in general. Like I never shy away from the fact that I don't think I'm very good at Dragalia. I just have um, tenacity is I think the one thing that I have, and I also have a very good bunch of friends who's willing to kind of help um, guide me through stuff. Alright, see for this stuff, you can easily pretty much dodge it. So here's kind of my ideas of what I thought Master would be, which I think will be... We'll see how it goes, nobody knows, but I'm gonna say right now, a lot of the stuff that you can dodge in his phase 2, 
unskippable. So it's all purple damage, so you can't just skill out of it. So here's the Gale. I finally learned. I spawned the Gale at the bottom and I kind of put it away in a circle rotation. Everything's fine. We go Dragon. Um, we beat him down pretty easy. Someone's arguing. I don't know why. I'm gonna assume Soren was unhappy with something. Everyone decides to go screw it and just completely lay waste <laughs> to this dude while we have the chance. Um, yeah. Nice. We're doing pretty good. For a team of people called the Trash Alliance, we are pretty good at this game, I should say. Um, yeah, see, so he does the claw things, he kind of reaches. A lot of this is kind of just getting your skills as quickly as possible and just dodging out of it. I'm not able to dodge out of that. See, if there's also wolves that spawn. I think that's kind of the thing you're seeing on the, those dudes that you see running around back and forth. Those are a bunch of wolves. Um, they can be kind of annoying, but they're not really the end all. I don't really target them ever because it's just easier to keep on hitting the boss. You can easily dodge out of their attacks anyway, so it's not bad. Oof, doing pretty good. Steel vitality. Yeah, kind of when you're fighting, when you're in the fight, you don't get to see a lot of just like what he's doing. I don't get to see his animations or anything, so I just kind of have to go like, oh, this is where he's doing the stuff to me. All right. I think I go Mars. Yeah, go Mars. And the one thing that I didn't have in my team is I didn't. I don't think I brought Min with me, which is unfortunate because that would have really helped make me stronger. Because this is definitely a, bo a boss fight where you actually drag in and attack with everything, and Mim with Mars is just kind of insane. So here's the big old... I think it's called the Blood Moon, where you have to do a bunch of damage to him in a set amount of time to stop the moon. If you don't, then he kind of, I think, that's a game over, I think. I've never seen it happen, but it is possible for it to happen. And here it is, the victory screen. And that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me how you're kind of going through Agido. Are you practicing, getting ready for Master? Are you just going to let um, people go crazy for it? Do you have a character you have in mind? Tell me all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day, everyone. Goodbye. Get that weekly bonus, Wookie. Yeah!